Hi everybody, I'm Betty Levy and I'm um, about to open my new show at the Carnegie Museum which is entitled Tools of the Trade. It's a show that's very much a departure from the work that I usually do. I'm primarily a hand embroiderer and I work exclusively on black silk with vividly colored silk threads. This show, however, is something that's very different in that it involves work that I've done on crochet, with crochet on rusted farm tools and other implements. It started when my husband gave me three pulley casings that he had bought. He had actually bought the entire pulley but he just needed the interior portion to run rope over for a railing that we have at our house in the country. And he just gave them to me, and they were just beautiful, beautiful structures. And I was trying to think of what I could do with these, and it just instantly came to me that I needed to be making crocheted um, netting or clothing or I don't know what you would call the crochet work that I, I've done for these pieces. But in looking at them I realized how very beautiful the rust was and I wanted to incorporate thread that was the same color as the objects because I wanted the finished product to be a complete whole. I wanted it to be um, consistent and unitary Actually, it's very unplanned, and what I enjoyed so much about this show is that it's such a dramatic foil to what I usually do. With these, I part of, of the endeavor was the hunt, looking for these wonderful rusted pieces and going out on long country drives trying to find something that was rusted sufficiently well and having people drop those things by my house, people, friends of mine who knew that that's what I was doing and would find things and deliver them to me. And then I would just spend time looking at the object and trying to um, intuit what would be a lovely thing to embellish it with. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it involved a little bit more thinking. For example, the doily pieces, I had to find doily patterns that would be appropriate for the shape of the object. For the other pieces that were largely netted work, I just had to more or less envision what would be a lovely shape to go on, on these rusted pieces. And then I would just go ahead and create it. There wasn't a huge amount of thinking with this. It was more cranking out the work. The first person I learned it from, and I learned it many times over my lifetime, um, the first person I learned it from was a woman by the name of Teresa Keller. And she was a Swedish woman who worked for my grandmother. And she taught me how to do that and also how to make sugar cookies. Um, I very soon thereafter forgot how to do it, and then my mother taught me, and I forgot that. And when I went out to San Francisco, I re-retaught myself how to do it um, with a book. And I found out only last year that I knit that I crochet backwards. Oh. This was something I. I had no idea because, you know, I crocheted and the things came out and I looked at them and they seemed perfectly fine to me, but I didn't realize that what I was doing when I was looking at them was turning them over and looking at what was the back side of my work. Um, and that actually was the front side of the crochet. So that's how I learned. Um, I don't do very much experimental work in terms of the stitches. I use the traditional stitches. I use the traditional patterns. Um, and basically where the creativity comes in is where I place these items and how I 
how I arrange them and how I embellish them. The, the work that I do with embroidery is very internal and very meditational and very quiet. And this work is not at all. It's very connected to other people and connected to tradition. And that's very exciting.